it's 10 <laughs> we were we we're just rocking and rolling away and i forgot to put us on live that's what they that, that's why we're pros at this good morning everyone tom eagle off your morning mayor shame and tom and half man half amazing in vancouver british columbia we are truly an international show we're happy to have you along here with us and as we were just mentioning earlier to nobody we're happy to have you here and uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, hey, don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like us, uh, and leave a comment. Uh, uh, the folks over there at wherever they are at uh, YouTube, they they kind of like that stuff, you know, when you when you do that. So we hope that you'll do it. Also, we're on Patreon. Uh, that is our. If you'd like to donate and support the show, we would really appreciate that very much because uh, you know we're we're here to. Uh, be successful, we hope. And uh, for a three dollar donation, uh, three dollars a month, thirty six dollars a year. I mean, come on, folks, thirty six dollars a year to get your name on this fabulous podcast. We'll put your name up, or we'll put your website up, or your business name, uh, whatever you want to put up. Uh, we will do it. For a five dollar donation, you get a personalized um, once a month with Shane and myself. Uh, we'll create something for you. And you also get a signed copy of the Small Town Advertising Handbook, How to Save More and Spend Less. And uh, so get over there to, uh, we'll put the description in the, uh, uh, in uh, below where to, uh, where to go to get that. Today we're talking about advertising versus personal or public relations. And um, what do you think, Shane? It's uh, certainly a, uh, it's certainly something that, uh, uh, is, uh, you know, people have battled over for ever since business began, I guess, huh? Well, uh, yeah, the difference, of course, uh, advertising is a, a cost to your business. Public relations is basically defined as um, earned media because it's free. Uh, in the 21st yeah. century, of course, we refer to it as going viral because of the social networks that we're dealing <laughs> But uh, in the old days, the 50s through you know 2000 yeah it was it was uh, basically an earned media that you tried to create uh, and yeah. uh, you cover it well in the presentation you're doing today yeah well let's talk about it uh let's start out with what is advertising well um in a few words it's simply um getting a message of some sort out to a potential customer about your products and services. And that's, that's what it is. And you may do it on radio, TV, newspaper, magazine, billboard, uh, social media. Uh, you know, I mean the park, park benches, bus, buses, taxi cabs <laughs> could be anywhere. That's right. Uh, yeah. Advertising is a, a, a expressing an awareness uh, to to the public, uh, pu public relations is is more of a, a perception, you know, creating a perception. So uh, again, we're going to try and show you the difference and and how yeah. one is costly and and is uh, uh, somewhat questionable anymore as to its effect. Although again, with social net uh, social media, that's different today because it's not as expensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, again. Yep. Yeah, in that same realm, if you have something you can create um, uh, as a story or a selfie that you put on social media that goes viral, oh my goodness, the public relations for that could mm -hmm. be so significant, it, it would change your life. It can be. Um, I don't know if you've noticed uh, lately, and um, well, uh, let me let me go into what we want to talk about next, and that would be advertising mistakes. Um, I don't know if, if you've seen uh, the Coke uh, uh, posts on Facebook um, regarding uh, I drink Coke, I'm white, <laughs> or, or yeah. something to that effect. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 And so now we've got a PR nightmare with Coke because they decided that they need more uh, social awareness, more uh, gender identity, more, I don't know, whatever the social warrior uh, idea is, uh, they have well, to have I classes. Think it goes deeper. I, I, yeah, but in that, that case, it goes deeper. The, the You know, the sort of wars were, are over. They happened yeah. from the 40s to 2000. 
uh, people were consuming it and and uh, not you know realizing the danger it was particularly the resulting cause of uh, you know uh, the sugar content and and the carbon mm. you know drinking yeah. something carbon and putting gas in your body is not a great idea anyway having said that we're now into the you know the water wars and it's a pretty mm. remarkable transition um, when, when you think about what you're paying for gasoline and then oh, go yeah. and compare a gallon of water that you buy in the store <laughs> in yeah. a seven, what, 750 milliliter bottle. I mean, the pro you're paying more for bottled water right now than you are gasoline. For gasoline. Like, you know, it's conscious, it's perception, yeah. and it's marketing. And uh, Pepsi yeah. and, and Coke are having a very hard time. I mean, anyone knows, uh, especially in the last 18 months, uh, you know, you used to pay seven to twelve dollars for you know twelve cans of pop. Now you can go in and buy it for five. Yeah. No, it's yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it, 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 the, the industry has completely changed. Yeah, yeah. Well, the big thing about advertising mistakes, the big thing that we want to we want to cover here is, of course, that uh, advertising uh, must always be uh, an investment. It, can, it cannot be an expense. You cannot spend money advertising. It must be an investment. It must return more than it costs or otherwise don't do it. I mean, it's ridiculous to, to do that. So advertising must always be a, uh, an investment. It can never, ever be an expense. And uh, that's one of the rules of advertising. A couple other mm -hmm. rules. Um, when uh, emotion and logic come in conflict, emotion always wins. So that's another of my rules of advertising. And another one is that you never t advertise anywhere unless there's at least a 75% expectation that the advertising is going to produce more than it costs. Now there are exceptions to that. You may buy an ad in the high school yearbook, you know, as a support your school or something like that. That's probably not going to, going to produce a lot, but you know, you're supporting uh, your, uh, your your town or your neighborhood or your local schools or whatever. So, so advertising, uh, yeah, can be very sticky. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of mistakes can be made. Um, the biggest thing, and we've talked about it before, um, identifying your target market and where are they, and what TV shows do they watch, what radio stations do they listen to, what newspapers do they read. Uh, magazines, um, you know, uh, you, you have to know your target market and where they are and before you can reach them. That's right. Demographics are so important because mm -hmm. it's a matter of expendable income and uh, every age group has a specific amount of expendable income and uh, um, every age has a different way of getting information. Uh, people now under 35, they really don't watch much television. Uh, we're seeing that now in the difficulties that advertisers are having, even, you know, spending money on advertising on television. Yeah. So the big get, the big stick now is uh, social media. And again, when you can make the comparison, uh, the advantage over advertising in, in social media is spectacularly uh, different i mean it's uh, it's like a 10 to 1 difference literally i mean it's you you can't walk away from that particularly if you're at a home and you're doing work at home from a website and you're trying to develop your own website obviously that's where you're going to advertise um local media may help a, a brick and mortar store you set up and it's interesting because the transition between the 80s to today are so different i i mean i remember back in I'm sure you do, Tom, in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, how big it was for small store owners in small cities to support like a local softball team for women, you know, and they buy mm -hmm. their uniforms for them and, and things of this nature. And, uh, you know, that did that did them well because people obviously showed their loyalty and, and shopped at that, that store because of it. And uh, that all that's now in play, uh, you know, with the, guidelines that are particularly for women's sports. I mean, th that's why things changing so quickly uh, with a new administration that can affect you so directly, instantly, instantly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's for sure. Well, Bruce joins us. Uh, Bruce says, hi, guys. Uh, listening in today, the dedication to Reich Week continues. Not much attention to today's news. And yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, the, there's still uh, talk radio still all over uh, Rush Limbaugh. And that would be another uh, another instance. Uh, uh, he would be a good example of somebody who used public relations to um, to their max. Uh, uh, I would say, uh, Shane, that uh, mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Um, uh, you know, did a, did a lot of, a lot of, uh, of things. Um, another thing we want to, we want to talk about social media advertising and, and Shane just touched on it there, uh, briefly, but the great thing about social media advertising is this is a great place to test things. Uh, it's an inexpensive way to test an offer, test a product, test a service, uh, test an offer of some kind. Um, and uh, it's relatively expensive. You can run it for a short period of time to a lot of people. Uh, you can uh, put in the demographics you want, and you can do it on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Spotify, on App Chat, or you know, virtually anywhere you want to go, uh, and you can try different things in different places and see what you know what happens, and that can give you a good image, uh, a, a big savings that if you go out and do the same thing in conventional advertising, then you can, uh, uh, you know, see a better result for less money. Um, the equivalent of this before social media was that you would put the offer in your store, not publicize it, but put it, test it in your store. When your customers came in, Hey, we got this deal. What do you think? And if it was successful with the customers walking through the door, then you can open it up to uh, regular advertising. So a lot of opportunity on social media, Shane. Yes, it is. It's, it's expanding quickly and it's global. That's the most remarkable thing when you realize that, you know, uh, when you do have the, the, the ability to, to advertise, particularly uh, on the platforms that are out there, it, it's a global ad. So mm -hmm. it, it's a great opportunity if you have a product that is ha, has a, a potential to be a global product um, th that enhances the value. And, and the other thing that enhances the value, too, is that people are, uh, be, are made more aware. And, and it, it is pretty personal because people make a personal choice to pay attention to it. You know, um, being old, I play a word game in the morning when I first get up for about 10, 15 minutes to try and wake my brain up. And it's incredible the amount of advertising. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just, you know, within ten minutes, I might play eight. It's like doing the radio show. I might play eight minutes and have to watch three minutes of advertising. It's quite, it's quite amazing, yeah. but it's so broad. Uh, yeah. But uh, beca because of uh, the necessity of what's happened as a result of COVID. Uh, these this topic is important and uh, mm -hmm. uh, it probably will go away by the summer because I expect COVID yeah. will. But it's going to be really important to grab that that market share that you can uh, once mm -hmm. everything is fully open and, and people are out back again um, away from their computers because people have had to live in front of their computers for a year. I, I, I don't I'm not I think this is going to be a great opportunity for brick and mortar stores in downtown cities like Bozeman to find or see a comeback that's really strong just because people would rather get out and walk down a street, walk with their children, hopefully without masks, uh, you know, and so forth. And, uh, and the, and I think the recovery could be significant. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see because you see the results in two major States in your country, Texas and Florida. So it's, it's a good thing. And the numbers today were great uh, for new jobs. So, you know, it, it looks like it's a positive track for everyone that's starting a business today. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bruce also says uh, Facebook is my primary advertising, the lawn care business and snow removal. Uh, my <laughs> customers are avid, avid users and, uh, Whenever anyone is looking for my services, my customers tag me or my business. And that's, that's how it works. That's the you know, uh, water cooler, baby. You know, you yeah. have to be in the office now, you know, now it's online. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the very thing. Yeah. You can just post that on your, on your page or post it on someone else's page and um, boom, you're, you're 
you're there. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to uh, public relations. What uh, what is public relations? Uh, the main thing, I guess, um, a, a simple definition would be someone else recommends you. Uh, someone of quality or someone of stature recommends you. Um, and that, uh, for example, um, one of the, one of the uh, examples I use, if you're, you're reading a trade magazine about your industry and you come across an article of interest about, you know, a new product or service is going to change the industry. So you tear that article out and you attach your business card, you send it to the local newspaper and say, hey, I'd, I'd love to give you a local slant on this, on what's happening here locally. So, so uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's an easy way to do it. They may print it, they may not. But newspapers are always looking for news. They're always looking for um, their job is to, okay, uh, are we giving you an ad? Or are we giving you, you know, a free ad? Or are we doing the, uh, the uh, public a service? So they have to walk a thin line there as to what it is. But if you're quoted in that article, that makes you an expert in a local expert on that topic. So people who read that article and have an interest in that product or service or what's going on in that industry will gravitate to you naturally because you were recommended by the newspaper. Otherwise, they would not have sought you out as an expert. That's, and that's right. the easy way to do it. That's right. And, uh, you know, th this is, as Tom was saying to you, an example of how you can get what's known as free, me free media or earned media. Uh, it, it's not any m much difference in, you know, getting a small banner flag made. And, you know, if you go to a, a kid, your kid's uh, uh, baseball game or hopefully a basketball game again, you know, and you, you, you put it up, you know, you don't want a 20 foot by 10 foot one, but, you know, like three or five foot one or even, you know, just a, a, a flag of some kind, uh, you know, that you can create uh, some type of advertising uh, two words or three words to, to, to reference to what you're doing. And of course, uh, you know, get out and shake hands. Well, um, hopefully we'll be able to shake hands again one day, but, you know, move around and, and, and meet people and invite them, invite them into sure. your second home, your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, another uh, thing too, is that uh, I recommend every main street business should have an annual grand opening. Uh, new people move to town. Um, you know, when I moved to town, I had to find a barber, a bakery, a pet store, a grocery store, a, you know, a clothing store, a shoe store, whatever. And in most cases, I would ask friends, uh, you know, who already lived here, where, where, where should I go? Who should I go see? But, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an inexpensive thing. You got a banner you reuse over and over. As Shane points out, you stick it in front of your business, yearly grand opening, annual grand opening or something like that. You make some cookies, you have some coffee or soft drinks or something and give the kids some balloons or toys and get people into your place of business. Give them, you know, yeah, have some and, and sales or whatever. To, to have social conscience in and public mm -hmm. advertising in your, in your town, you know, find out about what things are going on in the city. And, you know, if they have a, you know, a, a, a little a banner with the, you know, that you can tape to the front window of your store or create one yourself from the Internet, you know, go on the Internet. And if there's a festival, if there's some kind of a bake baking thing or there's a, you know, a, a farmer's market, you know, put it up in your mm -hmm. window to show your support for other company or not companies, but other businesses in your community. Um, mm -hmm. Not ones that are competitors, of course, but, you sure. know, people or services that are out there being given to people, uh, you know, by the local government, you know, create create that. You can put do that on your own computer and, and put it in the window and people when they see these kinds of things and they it, it affects people. They go, well, wow, look, this fellow really cares about the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Well, the main uh, the main benefit of public relations is that in most cases you'll be uh, you'll be perceived as an expert in your field because of 
the uh, publicity that you got for whatever reason, however you got it, whether you, uh, you know, did what I suggested, send something to the paper or um, uh, did a, a radio or a TV interview on a topic or something like that. Uh, that's the main benefit. And um, as Shane pointed out, in, in many cases, uh, well, in most all cases, it's free advertising. You know, it's free to your, uh, to your business. So it's don't shy away from, from that. And don't be afraid to send something to the newspaper that they're going to reject because they will, they may reject it. But the thing to think about is I mentioned the trade magazine and here's another rule of mine. If you spend 20 minutes a day reading about your business or your industry in one year, you'll know more than 75% of the people in that industry. Uh, 20 minutes a day, watch a YouTube video uh, on your smartphone while you're at lunch or, um, you know, read a trade magazine article, whatever it is. And if you do that 20 minutes a day, I guarantee you, you'll know more than most people in your uh, industry by the end of a year. So it's educate yourself. Always education is an imperative. And mm -hmm. the reason is it creates imagination. It creates inspiration. And uh, it also can in increase your sales just from your own awareness, as, as Thomas pointed out. The most important thing is, is that you can learn freely because uh, mm -hmm. th there's nothing more important than getting up every day and learning something new. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Um, I've used a local paper advertising weekly paper, but found the cost beyond my budget. So I paid for a poster board on local baseball field. Uh, the revenues go to the uh, Lions Club, uh, the local uh, civic group and a local sign shop makes the board a uh, hundred dollars a year is worth it and keeps my money local by the way i have two of tom's books well, thanks thanks so much for that hey i can eat today <laughs> thanks bruce for, for buying the books <laughs> all right well uh let's see shane uh that's uh that's probably going to wrap it up for us here this morning. We're going to have a short uh, segment today, a little shorter than usual, but I think we've covered things pretty well. But but um, just remember the rules of advertising, that it has to be an investment. It can't be an expense. Emotion and logic come in conflict. Emotion always wins. So make sure your advertising has emotional tag in it. You've got to, you've got to, uh, tag that person emotionally. There's got to be, you've got to make them feel something to buy your product. Yep, it, that's the concept. That's called capitalism, and that's how you build your own future with your own business mm -hmm. in your own time. That's for sure. Hey, don't forget our past shows are up on uh, KMMSAM.com. You can listen to our radio shows and this right here as well. Uh, we have podcasts uh, up there. And uh, just go to KMMSAM.com, click on Tom and Chain's podcast. And don't forget, tomorrow we are on radio from 8 to 11 with our political business uh, radio show. And uh, you can listen live to that anywhere in the world, KMMSAM.com. Just click listen now. And that's all you really have to do because, um, yeah, it's free. <laughs> well, I guess it's free. I guess it's free if you got a computer, huh, Shane? That's true. <laughs> that, would the, that's that would true. be the. That would be one thing that you probably want to have, all right? And of course, don't forget. Well, you uh, have we're your on, cell phone. You can you can you can do the same thing with your cell phone. So that's it's right. An added cell phone benefit. too. You can listen to us on your cell phone as well. And uh, subscribe, like us, and ring the notification bell on uh, Facebook and uh, or on uh, YouTube. And uh, like us over on Facebook as well, because Facebook likes that kind of stuff as well. And also, we're on Patreon. <clears throat> and uh, you, if you like to donate to the show, you certainly can. Uh, for one of our tiers, you get my free book, uh, The Small Town Advertising Handbook, How to Say More and Spend Less. <clears throat> it's a great deal. And also, um, would you like to make podcasts like uh, this one? Well, guess what? Uh, we use StreamYard, and um, it's a great program. They've got a free um, 
section of it. You can get it for free. Uh, we use the upgraded because of the, a lot of the uh, special effects and things that we use here. But uh, you can get a free version if you want to test it out and uh, start making uh, YouTube videos and make money, <clears throat> make money on YouTube. And um, we'll put the uh, link to uh, what we use down in the description below. So uh, by all means, so uh, we hope you'll take advantage of that. And say goodbye, Shane. I will indeed. Be happy, be safe. Have a great weekend uh, because we're hoping the weather will turn. And yeah. live in the moment. There is nothing but every moment in your life that's special. And uh, live to work, especially because now you have your own business. Nothing better than to come home happy every day to your family because that's the way they want to see you come through the front. All right. Absolutely right. All right. <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll talk together on radio tomorrow, 8 to 11 Mountain Time, KMMSAM.com, KMMSAM.com. Don't forget the AM. And uh, we'll see everybody. Uh, well, we'll talk to everybody on the radio tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you then. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.